Hello everyone, Mr. Zoss here, and let's talk about the big British boxing is back. Dubois vs. Joshua. Dubois is a champion. How did that happen? That's a good question. We're gonna dive into that in a second. But the more important thing is, we have a mega fight. I like to say a mega fight. It's in Wembley. 80,000 seats. How much more you need, people? How much more you need it? Well, you could say... The seats need to be sold out, okay? It needs to be sold out. Is it? How is the ticket sales going? You know what? This and a few more questions will gonna be answered just down the line. But again, guys, I need to showcase my amazing three years of university project. So, without further ado, let's take a look at my bachelor's. Easy to spot, hard to miss. Flip Flop Mafia is here. And so is the good weather, guys. So if you're going out to the beach, to the pool, or just around the block, and you need new flip flops, yes, Mr. Zas has created this amazing standalone product. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Three years in university, and that's what I'm doing, guys. So yeah, guys, link is in description. Click it on, follow it, and... Uh, support the my three years of bachelors yeah guys <laughs> so yeah guys let's jump into this weird boxing event which will gonna be taking place very soon in london so let's talk about this weird boxing matchup which is taking place in wembley just on september 21st but i mean it's not off to the good start if you may say that i mean we have football out there we have kind of death of high street i mean the bills are going up utility bills are through the roof people don't have money and now we have this boxing show i mean we know aj is good but you know let's see the ticket sales let's see what the ticket sales are saying after a few days being on the market so for this event as we see there is so much space available. Yes, there's closer to the ringside, like expensive, expensive seats sold out. But I would say like 85% is available. And ticket price goes starts at £118, which is like $150. And I would say, you know what? That is not that crazy. If we would be talking about a really stacked undercard, good undercard, and good matchup at top. I just don't see it. I really believe that AJ gonna steamroll. Yeah, AJ gonna st steamroll Dubois because of his lack of defense. And let's take a look. Let's take a look at the bookies. And bookies, yeah, they're not really giving lots of chance for Dubois. I think the big reason is Dubois' lack of defense. As in last fight, he demonstrated that he can take actually a tremendous amount of shots from Philip Hergovitz, which should really just kind of rock him and stop him. Um, yeah, I mean, that regard, AJ is a different beast, okay? So fully agree that bookies are going 4-1, to one, <laughs> you know, with uh, Dubois. Having said that, I don't want to put down Dubois to, like, just a, you know, puncher's chance. I think Dubois has the skill set, he has the punching power, it's just can he outlast, outlast AJ, can he push him? Um, and honestly, if uh, I don't know, if I would be Dubois, I would just jump on AJ in the first three rounds and just, you know, just bang it out, see what happens, because I don't think uh, AJ gonna lose this fight in a point, okay, so... Uh, but in the previous fight, Dubois showcased he's very effective at using his head, you know, as another weapon in his arsenal. So, regardless of that, I think AJ could bully, could get bullied by Dubois in the first rounds, and that could be um, a way of defeating AJ. Having said that, my gut feeling is literally just saying this fight will gonna end like very similar to um, Charles Martin versus AJ when he was going for his first world title. So let's kind of take a look at this. And again, people, we have so much going on 
in UK, in London. Um, the housing prices are going up. Death at the high street. People don't even have money to spend. If you go to the nightclubs on a Friday night, 50% attendance just went out to celebrate uh, my bachelor's guys. 50% attendance. It's weird. People do not have exposable income these days. Uh, and I haven't said that. I really believe lots of people who have bought these tickets, they're scalpers. They bought the tickets because they thought it will going to be sold out so quick. Uh, and I mean, I got hit with the ads three hours, two hours, one hour, the tickets on the sale. But um, yeah, I'm not paying 120 quid for tickets. Uh, especially there is not really good undercut because I don't think this is evenly matched fight again guys I'm big Dubois fan but I think it's just AJ's punching power is too much versus Dubois I, I cannot even explain what kind of chin he has above average average something like that chin so um, I mean it's gonna be interesting fight as long as it lasts um, because Dubois needs to come up with some good plan how to beat AJ and AJ just needs to be AJ he just needs to land his one right hand and this is all over uh, so I mean only time will tell what's gonna happen but um, yeah I mean it's a big boxing event in London but there is really no quality it is really like Charles Martin versus AJ when you have one guy with a belt and mediocre or maybe above mediocre skills and that's it there's nothing truly special about this fight it's just a regular fight to be honest so yeah guys i mean this is my opinion this is how i see it that um that they are trying to create a quality for this fight but you cannot deny the fact dubois was promoted he didn't want the belt in the fight so there wasn't that big hype oh my god we have a new boxing champion now he gonna be fighting against aj aj is coming off from few very good fights dubois last fight amazing bit dirty but amazing haven't said that i don't really see him stocking up that well against aj and that's why i kind of need to go with most people what they are saying that they just kind of think this will gonna be a one-sided fight uh, for AJ. That's it. I mean, I don't see Dubois really slipping or learning any defensive maneuvers. Only way is to overpower Joshua with just pressure. Something similar to Hergovitz. But Hergovitz is no Joshua, guys, okay? So yeah I, I think this is AJ I think this is team AJ and most people see that and they just they just don't think this is even worth even worth to spend 120 quid for the tickets because this fight will gonna be so one-sided so guys tell me what's your thoughts is this fight so one-sided it's not worth the money or is it really good matchup in your eyes so yeah guys leave the comments below follow me on youtube and uh, you know keep buying those flip-flops mr zas out